Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I have the uh, Revel 176 scale Nash Horn. So the Nash Horn, which is German for Rhinoceros, was originally known as the Hornis, or German for Hornet. So it was a German uh, tank destroyer, uh, similar to the, well not similar, but uh, other tank destroyers, things like the Jagdpanther, Jagdpanzer, Jagdtiger, stuff like that. So um, it was... Uh, developed in 1942 um, and it has no turret as you might be able to see except for it just has a really <laughs> big gun uh, in the back um, so it has the pack 43 heavy anti-tank gun and even though it was only lightly armored you know it doesn't have the, the world's best armor um, of that era it could just it could um, go through the frontal armor of any allied tank uh, any allied tank of the Second World War, and it was a lot cheaper to produce than um, other tanks, like proper functional, um, you know, tanks with turrets and stuff. So um, it weighed 24 tons. Um, it was 8.44 meters long um, and 2.95 meters wide, and had about 20 to 30 millimeters of armor, which isn't which isn't a massive amount of armor, as I said. But it is it it will do against small arms and some anti tank guns. So it had a crew of five, which is standard. Um, yeah, it's just pretty pretty standard for that era. And it has um, you see, as I said, it has the eighty eight mil Pack forty three gun, which as I, uh, as I said as well, it can go through any outer uh, tank with these. So um, it also had a seven point nine two millimeter machine gun, which was uh, just carried on the inside of the tank. So yeah, um, it has leaf spring suspension as well. So um, yeah, as you can see just here, the suspension here. Look from the back. So I put this little camouflage netting on the top. This doesn't look amazing, but the reason I did, I also have these logs on the side which I tied on, which I think was pretty good. The gun can rotate. Um, you know. Um, the only problem is uh, what I found was when I first built this tank. If you look. The um the pin that goes into the hole into the tank was tiny. It was a tiny, tiny little bit of plastic, and essentially it just didn't sit in there. It, the gun would fall out every thirty seconds if you just tipped it over. It wasn't really a good solution for it. So what I did was I drilled the hole out slightly larger, and I um basically got a bit of the sprue, cut, uh, cut it down to the right size, and so now it sits, and you can actually support the tank by the the gun and see so it also um i don't know if you can see them if i pull back this netting slightly i um got a couple of crewmen inside and you can't really see it that well but i got four guys inside there i think these are just german infantry that i've you know cut to uh, cut them up and uh, change them around so yeah the um the idea of a tank destroyer is just to essentially find a position to hide in wait for a vehicle to come along and essentially they're a tank sniper that's what they are they, they just sit in a position they, they snipe so um they actually use uh, parts from a panzer 3 and a panzer 4 so um yeah that's why it looks quite familiar but yeah i really like this model as i said it did go wrong for me originally you can hear uh, a bit of metal which fell inside which i used for the pin originally but i've now replaced it but I think it looks really good, even though it, it was slightly failed. But as uh, as with a lot of Revel kits, these are really really uncommon. Uh, I don't think Italy make Italy don't make one, and um, I don't believe FX FX no FX definitely don't make one. No, um, so Revel's the only one I've seen. I'm sure someone like Dragon uh, probably produced them. But yeah, as you see, also I put all this extra. Um, uh, lichen on there as well as this tree stuff just because it would just sit in a hull down position and just snipe away at anything that came past it and then essentially be camouflaged in not seen so um yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in another video